Hello, it's Mark Cahill, uh, author of the book uh, One Heartbeat Away. People ask me, since I spend so much time with lost people, would you write a book to lost people? So we decided to undertake that task, and this is where this book came from. And of course, One Heartbeat Away is what happens on your very last heartbeat. So what we did in this book is we show you how to prove there's a God, how to prove the Bible's true, how to prove the afterlife with all these near-death experiences from people seeing white lights and tunnels to other people seeing lakes of fire, walk you right through the Ten Commandments, right to repentance, and then right at the cross, and you can make a decision, a lost person can make a decision, decision on what they want to do with Jesus Christ. We've literally had atheists read this book, become born again. Agnostics read this book, become born again. Catholics read this book, become born again. We've had prisoners read this book, become born again. We've had Muslims read this book, become born again. And this is just the stories we've heard of. But what we did is just full of stories that people I've witnessed to, from atheists to celebrities, different people. So it's a really smooth read. We're getting lost people telling us they hate to read, they like this book. And uh, it's been amazing what's happened with it. We actually had uh, a gentleman buy 5,000 of these to get them to all the Katrina teenagers that were returning last Christmas uh, to New Orleans and Gulfport and Biloxi. Uh, we've literally had a, a guy buy 1,500 to make sure all his patients at his eye care clinic could spiritually see. He's gone through 1,500 books. He's got 1,000 more because he wants all his patients to be able to physically see and spiritually see. And so literally, uh, this is a great book for your family, your friends, and strangers you witness to. And it's just packed with King James scriptures from front to back. And you can get it right here at chick.com. You proudly take a friend through your new house and you say, didn't the builder do a great job? But instead of agreeing with you and giving him the praise that he deserves, he says, I don't believe there was a builder. You're amazed. You wonder if your friend has just suddenly become mentally challenged or did he bang his head on an exposed beam? I mean, why would he deny that there was a builder? And then a light goes on in your head. You smile and you say, ah, oh, so there's some problem between you and the builder. You had a falling out, and you're just so angry with him that you deny that he even exists. I mean, that's your only logical conclusion. You can't think of any other reason why an intelligent, rational human being would suddenly abandon logic and basic reasoning and deny something so blatantly obvious. What do you think happens when somebody dies? I think they just die, and I think that there's no place they go to. I think they just sit in the ground, and the bugs come, and that's it. You believe there's no God, right? Right. Okay, so let me ask you, if you were to, say, uh, make a cow, h how would you start? What would you do? How would you make a cow? Make a cow? Yeah. Well, you don't get to start with leather, right? Because that's where the cow yeah. comes in. So how would you start? Um, well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, that's a good question. As an atheist myself, for a lot of years, I, I, I kind of said, well, hey, look, I'm having a great time in my life, frankly. And I'm not going to join all these religious nuts and start believing in fairy tales. But one day I started thinking about the fact that, okay, if I die and I find out that there is a God, I'd really want to know before I die, so God, is there any way that you could give me some clues? Maybe I'm just looking at the glass half empty instead of half full. And when you think about stuff like Jeff, I don't know how I'd begin to make a Jeff. I can't start with eyes or ears. Or, and if I were to make his vascular system, do I start by making a heart or the blood or the veins? And if we all evolved, which one came first? Because none of the others can even have a function if they're not all three there at the same time. Right. So if there's a God, and he's good, and he sees all things, and he's all powerful, do you think he would see you as a good person? I do. I know that there's a God. I, I don't know uh, Jeff well enough, but I would tell you that I know there's a God because I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm standing here. And I think you know that there's a God deep down in your in your heart you hit you put your head on the pillow and you kind of go is this all there is does my life really have no meaning or purpose other than to just sort of be bug food uh, in about 50 years when I die and have a good time while I'm here Wait, what scares you most in life what scares me most in life? the most frightening thought you can think of um maybe not having the freedom to believe what I want or do what I want 
Therein lies the problem between the professing atheist and God. There is a state of hostility between them. He does have a reason for being unreasonable. He objects to the moral standards of God. He says, God, don't you tell me what to do with my life. I love my lust, my fornication, my adultery, and my pornography. It's my life, and I'll do what I want with it. I'm therefore going to go to the extreme of denying your very existence. In my mind, you don't exist. And in so doing, he'll bring upon himself what the Bible calls swift destruction. Can I tell you why I think that you, that you deny God? Here's why I think, and I don't know you at all, but I think I have a little bit of an insight into your heart because I used to be an atheist. I think that the freedom to believe and live the way that you want is so important to you that the thought of someone being in charge of this whole thing and having a standard that he's going to hold you accountable to is just way too much for you to want to submit yourself to because that means it might put a wet blanket on some of the things that you want to do. Could that be true?